Now here are some teaching ideas for the future continuous tense. Here we have an activity where we'll be asking students to spontaneously make some excuses based upon some invitations. We can do this into pairs or small groups. The teacher will have cut these cards up and the students will place them into a pile, randomly picking up a card. So one student might pick this card up and say, would you like to play tennis with me tomorrow? The other student will be challenged to come up with an excuse as quickly as possible, which might be, no, I'm sorry, I'll be working. Then we have the next student pick up the next card and we challenge an additional student to make an excuse. Here we have another teaching idea for the future continuous tense and this involves two students trying to plan a meeting between themselves sometime in the future. One student will have a planner such as this filled in with quite a few activities. Their partner will also have a planner filled in with activities on opposite days. The activity will be rigged so that only one day allows for both of them to meet together. The objective of the activity will be to find that day. They'll need to do so by asking a series of questions. One may begin with, would you be available on the 14th? Here this student would notice that they have a conference and respond with, I'm sorry, I'll be attending a conference. He may return with another day and by asking these series of questions, eventually they'll arrive at the day they can meet. As with any activity where certain members of the group are missing information and they have to compare and contrast their information, we have to make sure that the students aren't actually showing each other their diaries and they're having to ask each other questions and respond verbally.